Hi, and welcome to My Reality Jeep Life with me, the Vermont Jeep Girl, and this is my daily vlog of 2013. We'll have down in here, we have our pinion sitting here all by itself, wondering where its mate went. I think I will bring you over here and show you, for those that don't know what it looks like, what the top of the pinion looks like while it's in the carrier. Okay. Here's her carrier up close and personal. Doesn't she look pretty in there? We're going to be, when we put her back together, we'll be removing these spider gears and we'll be installing our Aussie locker. Her Aussie locker will sit right inside this carrier. Also, this ring is coming off because this is what the 354s are and we're going to be putting on the 488s. Okay, and let's show you what we look down inside here. This is the inside of the case. Hopefully there's enough light in here. This, what you see down here with the little spinning, that's, that's your pinion gear, and that's what rides on the ring gear. Okay. Those carrier bearings sit right down inside here, which is where these guys go back on. See, these guys are the ones that hold these bearings in. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to remove the pinion nut so that I can remove the pinion from the carrier. This is a little homemade tool that uh, K-Man had made uh, years back and it, on the bottom it fits right inside the yoke and what I'm going to do is set it there for my leverage. I'm also going to take my three-quarter inch ratchet. I believe it's a one and one eighth inch socket on here to get onto this nut. Now, this nut is torqued down to the specifications from the manufacturer and it's very tight. And as much as I'm big and strong, I'm going to need a little help on this. And I have nobody here to help me, so I'm going to use a pipe. Now, this is not a pipe that I would normally use. This is a little too big for the ratchet. And hopefully I won't break any lights in here. On oh, the ceiling. <laughs> Alrighty, baby. Be nice to me. No, oh, sweet. I'm not sure if that's broken enough. Is heavy. One pinion nut. Now that I've removed my pinion nut, removed the washer, I'm going to take my brass drift and I'm just going to gently pound on the yoke to loosen her up. Here's my yoke. So 
here's our pinion. A little bit about our pinion. There's a, a bearing. This is our inner bearing that spins around. This little uh, metal round piece you see here, this is an oil slinger. And then the bottom of the pinion, we have teeth. Now these teeth are the ones that mesh with the ring when the drive shaft is spinning. This spins, hence spinning the ring gear. All right, that's how that works. Also another thing that's on our pinion are these little things that look like washers. These are the pinion depth shims. It looks like there's, yep, there's three here and I know you can't see these. When it comes time to resetting this up, we're gonna wanna remember what these are. One is very, 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 very thin. One's a little thicker and uh, two thick ones and a thin one. You measure all these up, and this is an important number that we're gonna remember when we put our new pinion in. Don't wanna lose these. So keep all this together until we're ready to set up the new gears. Okay, now that my pinion is out, this, whoo, <laughs> almost dropped it. Good thing the cat wasn't down there. <laughs> Everything's a little greasy right now. The, uh, the other thing I want to mention <laughs> is this bearing here has a race and the race is still inside the carrier back here, which isn't gonna come out until I use my brass drift to push that out. Now behind that race is gonna be another set of shims. Those shims are also important. We're gonna measure those and write them down. Those numbers will be very important when we set up our new gears. Thanks for joining me. And if you have any questions or comments, write me. Vermont Jeep Girl at hotmail.com. I look forward to hearing from you. And uh, have a good night. Oh, another thing if your hands ain't a dirty, you ain't a wrenching. Yeah, good.